Hey. Hey guys, this is LZ 789 with another build video. Just going to see my status build for the Ritualist with the Sparkfire shotgun. And let's go right into it. So for the build, I use the Crimson Guard armor set. You can use any armor set you like, but I like this one the best. This one you get from uh, Lotsum with the True King DLC. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, for the Relic, for the Dragon Heart, I use the Tranquil Heart that passively grants you 2.3 health regen per second and on use doubles all health regen uh, for 15 seconds. Yeah, this one will just passively regen you and it's uh, pretty nice. Then I put a Mythic Health mod in for 15% health, a Mythic uh, Damage Reduction for 5% damage reduction and a Mythic Elemental Damage for the 10% Elemental Damage. Yeah, this one uh, keeps you alive and does a bit of damage. Then for the gun, I use a Sparkfire shotgun that um, fires incendiary shells that apply burning, which deals 129 fire damage over 2.1 uh, seconds. Yeah, just shooting this gun uh, applies fire to the enemies. Then I put uh, the overflow weapon mod in that imbues ammunition with shock and decreases fire rate by 15%. And the reload speed by 15% for 20 seconds. Uh, shots also apply overload, dealing 199 shock damage uh, every 5 seconds for 11 uh, seconds long. Yeah, that mod will also apply shock, so we already have burn and shock. And then for the mutation, uh, I have a padded wounds. Increases critical hit chance um, of weapon by 5% per unique negative status effect on the enemy uh, at a max of 15%. And then at level 10, this weapon ranged weak spot and ranged crit hits apply corroded, dealing 798 uh, corrosive damage over 7 seconds. And yeah, the, so we apply burn, shock, and corroded just with this gun. And also the corroded uh, will uh, lower the armor rating of the enemy. Uh, so the enemy will take more damage if, uh, if he's corroded. Uh, next to that, I have the Krell Axe, infused with Krell Shock uh, magic, uh, can be thrown if the wielder has stamina. Axe will magically uh, reappear in the hand uh, charged to throw. So the Krell Axe, the Krell Axe uh, charged to throw the Krell Axe, which applies overload on hit, dealing 209 shock damage every 5 seconds for 7 seconds. Uh, and shortly after throwing, another will appear in the wielder's hand and cost 25 stamina to uh, throw the axe. And on it I also put on the Tainted Blade, which increases melee damage by 10% per stack of corrosive uh, on the target, at a max stack of 5. If you have it, uh, if you have it on level 10, uh, the charged melee attack apply corroded, dealing 1995 acid damage over 15 seconds. So this axe you can throw and apply shock yeah. and corroded. Yeah, that we just want to apply as many stats as as we can, and those two guns do already a good job. Then I have the MP60R with uh, the Song of Aether talent. Fires a shot infused with the binding power of the Song of Aether. Staggers most ground enemies within 50 meters and deals 562 damage to flying enemies within uh, the same range. Uh, the song continues for 15 seconds, affecting targets uh, with uh, 22 meters with slow and 15% decreased damage dealt. So you shoot this uh, big bubble and all the enemies in it uh, get slowed and it gives you some breathing room to uh, run around and uh, if an enemy is affected by this uh, talent then he also does 15% uh, less damage. Yeah, that uh, talent is just for safekeeping, it's keeping you alive. Then also on it I have the Twisting Wounds. Uh, increases range damage by 20% uh, to bleeding targets. And at level 10 the weapon ranged weak spot and ranged crit hits apply bleeding, dealing 656 bleed damage over 7 seconds. So again, we're applying statuses with this gun. Then to the accessories, I have the energized uh, neck coil. This increases uh, status effect damage by 25%. Directly applying a damage, uh, damaging status effect creates a 5 meter explosion with 20% of the status effect full damage. Each target can be affected once every 5 seconds. So when you apply uh, a status, 
then it does a little AOE around it, and it also does damage dependent on the damage of the status. Yeah, this one is really good for a status build. And on it, I have the red uh, red ring of death. Duplicates the last damaging negative uh, status effect applied to the target. Reduce outgoing status effects by 10%. So this one will uh, reduce your status effect damage, but it will double one of your status effects uh, altogether. So if you apply fire once, you actually apply it two times the burn. The same with the shock, the same with the corrosive. So you apply two stacks of the status instead of one at the, at the cost of 10% status effect uh, damage. Yeah, this one's really good. Then uh, I have the band of the fanatic. This one's also from Losum. This one also, by the way, this, these two are also from Losum. Um, I need to talk with the mayor. He's in the beginning of the DLC. Um, and this one increases the status effect damage by 25%, and it reduces the status effect duration by 65%. Uh, but that reduction is actually a good thing, because you can just apply the status again, and it just does more damage over time. The quicker you can reapply it, the more damage you do overall. Yeah, this one's really good. Then also I have the Ahain Crystal. Deals 5% additional damage for each unique status effect uh, the target is suffering from. This one is on a hardcore item, so you need to uh, finish the game on hardcore. And then uh, I think you need to go to Yesha to get it. And then uh, uh, you get it, yeah, it's a really good one. It just increases your damage uh, overall. Then also I have the Shadow Misery, Shadow of Misery ring, which increases status effect damage by 15%. And I think this one's also from Lowstone. So I think a random drop. Just 15% extra status damage. Uh, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, let's quickly go to the archetypes. I have the Ritualist as a prime, and the Medic as a secondary. And if you put the Ritualist as a prime, you get the Vile pri prime perk. Negative status effects apply by the Ritualist uh, inflict Infected as well. And the Infected, victims receive 15% more status effect damage. And on that, press all status effects to nearby enemies uh, within 22 meters. So yeah, you apply statuses, then when the enemy dies, he will spread it to all nearby enemies. And yeah, it's really good. I was showing the gameplay uh, uh, yeah, how to use it. Then I used the Miasma skill, which cast an A rebirth that applies bleed, burn, overload, and corroded to all enemies within 22 meters, and dealing 2000 total damage. Uh, and last seven seconds. So just by using the skill, you apply all the possible statuses on the enemies, and that's a pretty big AOE. And yeah, this one's really good, just for damage. Then also with the Ritualist, you get the Rot Damage Perk, which increases all damage to enemies affected by negative status effects um, by 20%, and, and increases all critical chance against enemies affected by negative status effects. Yeah, this one gives you damage and gives you even crit chance to uh, enemies with status effects. Yeah, this one's really good. Then the theme perk is killing an entity applies terrify to all neighbor enemies within 5 meters of that killed entity uh, for 20 seconds. And terrified enemies are more likely to drop additional ammo on that. And the terrified enemies deal 5% less damage. So this one keeps you alive, gives you ammo, everything you want. Yeah, this one's perfect. Also on it, you get the utility perk. Reduces damage received from negative status effect by 25%, and reduces blight buildup by 50%. So yeah, you take less damage from statuses, and the uh, blight uh, buildup is 50% to do, so uh, the blight doesn't hurt you as much, because it takes a long time before you get blighted. And yeah, this one's good. Then with the relic perk, you get on relic use, uh, it cleans uh, all negative status effects, and negative status effects cleaned uh, by the purge are also applied to the enemies. So if you take a status effect, you use a dragon off, you get rid of the status effect, and you apply it to the enemies around you. Yeah, all these perks are really good for the ritualist. This is just the damage path, and now we're going to the defense path with the medic. Uh, I use the healing shield. The medic quickly expels healing energy to shield all allies within uh, 37 meters for 100% of their maximum health. 
water shield uh, well shielded allows to regenerate 30% of their maximum health um, over the duration. So if you are if you take a lot of damage you can just quickly pull out your shield, you heal yourself and your allies. Yeah this one keeps you alive a long time. This one's really good. Then for the damage perk, it grants you 25 increased damage to all and five crit charms. And the damage to all also includes your statuses. So yeah this medic gives is giving your uh, status build a, a lot of damage. Really good. For the team perk, you get increased relic efficiency by 15% and heals nearby allies for 30% of the total healing value, um, increasing to 60 for any ally below 35 maximum health. Yeah, this one is good for the uh, relic efficiency. Yeah, it's really good. Then the utility perk is increase the hits medics can take before losing gray health. So normally with the gray health, you only get it back uh, one when you don't take a hit. But with this one, you can take an extra hit to uh, uh, still heal the gray health. Yeah, that's really nice. Then the relic perk is increase relic speed by 20%. And uh, relic use gains one stagger. So w when you heal yourself or you try to revive uh, a mate of yours, uh, you can take a hit and you can still keep using the Dragon Heart. Yeah, Medic is OP, it's really good. Then for the traits, I have the Affliction, increases status effect duration against enemies by 100%. Yeah, this just increases the duration of the statuses. Then I have 10 points in Fortification and Fortify, which increases your armor effectiveness by 50%. And I have Regrowth at max from the Summoner. This one gives you 1.5 health regen, it's uh, basic, yeah. Then I have only two points in the strong bag, which lowers your uh, weight threshold. Yeah, this one's nice. I just put it, uh, put three points in so I can uh, go to uh, medium weight. So I have less stamina cost and yeah, that's why I use three points. Then I put uh, six points in movement speed so I can, I'm more, um, yeah, I can move about, uh, Better, yeah, it's really good. Then I have the triage, which increases the healing by 50%, because we still want to keep healing. Vigor at max for the maximum healing. I have uh, spirit at max for the mod regen, because we need our mods to do damage. The same with the expertise, it's maximum, because we need to get our skills. Um, I have the amplitude maximum, that increases all AoE size by 50%. So for this one, this one is increased by 50%. This one is increased. Yeah, we need, we need to, we, you need the amplitude for the increased radius. Then I have 10 points in bark skin for the damage reduction. And then I have 10 points in siphoner for the lifesteal. And the lifesteal also works with status. So if you apply a status, you basically regen with the siphoner. So that, that are all the traits of the build you a little bit of gameplay i will show you a boss as well but i will show i will showcase how this works you can add now. see and it's just doing base damage yeah, you can use the top turn apply two steps with your top turn and you can use your uh mp60 create a bubble and enemies in it do less damage to you and um the enemies get close, that's the most important part. He's very hard. And you can heal yourself with the uh, shield. Yeah, it's, it's really uh, tanky as well, but it's mostly DPS. Uh, I will show some gameplay now. Hope you guys uh, like the build. If any questions about the build, just write them in the comments. Um, yeah. LSD 789. Hi! Out.
saves her fruit, tries to guzzle immortality. But all things die, Cub. Even gods. Theirs is a mastery of death. The all that is nothing. And so I offer the choice they offered, Cub. Return to the ash from which we all came. Or break the yoke of balance and become eternal. But the bridge between ego and soul cannot be crossed without paying a chore. Mm, here bleeds the lie. Here mules the old order. Shall seal our pact. Radiation of this pest. Yeah, 